Hi there, I'm Bob Bledsoe, and I just planted a huge garden. Uh, the problem is, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never planted anything before in my life. So my thought is that if I do a weekly video blog, uh, maybe some experts will come on and tell me what I'm doing wrong and give some advice. That way, if you're new to gardening, you can sort of learn from my mistakes as well. So uh, let me show you the garden. I've got these two great big beds that we're planting in right now. Now we're at the end of tomato season. Obviously we have some tomatoes still and we have some squash still from um, the summer crops that I planted, uh, which most of them didn't do well. But we got tomatoes, we got squash, and they're sort of finishing up. Um, and I just planted 12 winter crops in this bed and I planted a whole different 12 in this bed some of which I don't even know what some of these things are. My girlfriend just wanted it, like bok choy, for example. I don't know what bok choy is, but look at how well it's doing. I can grow it, apparently. Um, I, don't, I don't know what it is. I probably ate it when I was a kid, but if I saw it in a store, I would have no idea. So um, that is, uh, that's the setup. Let's, uh, let's talk about pests bunnies. There are bunnies everywhere in this area and they will ravage the garden. So um, we've put up this perimeter fence right here to keep the bunnies out and it does a pretty good job but I think the small ones are still getting in. Uh, so we're always having to shore up. Look at this. You see where we put these rocks wherever we think bunnies might be sliding in underneath or something? We're putting those up and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking if you have bunnies and you want to live off the land, why don't you just eat the bunnies? Which, shame on you for thinking that. I'm not going to eat bunnies. They're cute and they hop around. Plus, I've been told I'm not allowed to. I'm supposed to just eat salad. So, here we are. Pest number two, these things. Those tomato worms. Now, again, we're at the end of tomato season, so I don't care as much, but look at that thing. Um, I think... The way to solve that for next season, next uh, summer, is to plant from seeds so that we're not bringing them in. I think we brought them in on the starter plants. Uh, but they're pretty cool. I kind of want to keep that one as a pet. I'm not going to, though. Um, pest number three, birds. Look at this. I planted pole peas. First of all, did I do this thing right? I don't even know if I did this right. Or I mean... Maybe maybe I should have strings going up and down. I don't know. But anyway, the point is, the birds are are digging up the seeds and eating them. How do they even know the seeds are in the ground? How do they know that? They're not eating the other things. They're just eating my peas in that bed, and they're eating my peas in this bed right here. So I've got to replant my peas. Um, what do I do? Do I put netting over that or something? I I don't know. Pest number four, katydids. I found a giant katydid in the garden the other day. I should have taken a picture of it, um, but maybe I'll find a picture online just in case you don't know what a katydid is. But uh, I think that's eating the little uh, startup plants. Uh, and here's my plan to get rid of those. Is I heard that if you put a frog pond in a garden, the frogs will come and eat the bugs. So. I'm going to put a frog pond in, and you guys can see the construction of that. Uh, <clears throat> the problem is, I didn't know if we had frogs in the area or if that would even work, if it would attract frogs. But the other day, I came out to the garden. We've been watering a lot, so the garden's been moist, obviously. And uh, we found a frog. So um, that's cool. They're coming even without a pond. And then last night, I came down to water, and it was dark out. I had a flashlight, and I found a big toad. And I thought, man, that toad is big enough to eat those Katie did. So I brought the toad down and put him in the garden. He probably just went back home, but I don't know, maybe maybe he stuck around, maybe he's around here somewhere eating those Katie did. Any other advice on how to get rid of these pests and keep them out would be such appreciated. I mean, look at this guy. He's just taking the end of the plant and shoving it down his mouth. It's the same way I eat a submarine sandwich. Artichoke. Apparently artichoke is one of the few plants that grows in this. That one, look at how nice that one is. This one is great. It, it produced for us this year. It gave us like 
four really nice artichoke, and we loved it and thought it was going to be awesome and great. But look at that. Why does it look like that? What's happening? What's all that brown on its leaves? Does it have a disease? It's so sad. I mean, look, there's, it's still producing. That little one's going to turn into something. But it's also dying at the same time. It's so sad. It's staring at me going, I produced for you, and now you're killing me. Why are you killing me? And I can't tell it why I'm killing it because, number one, it doesn't understand English. But, number two, I don't know. Look at this. Let's compare it with this one. Look at how nice that one is. So obviously there's a ton of stuff going on with this garden with bunnies and aphids and birds and frogs and tomatoes and those worms and all these plants coming in that I don't know what they are. Anyway, I need your help. And uh, thanks for watching, and I really appreciate your comments. And I'll see you next week.